every one of those eggs is conservation gold dust. We are down to less than 250 breeding pairs here. So finding that nest is absolute, just a high. It is a high, I'm very addicted to it. <laughs> way to meet with the rest of my team to help me do all the bird surveys and to do the nest finding. Uh, we have found a nest on Friday that was just beginning to lay so we wait until the clutch is completely finished and incubation has started and then we'll go in and we'll put a nest protection fence around it. This project is all about trying to increase the curlew breeding population here in the UK. So since the late 80s, Northern Ireland population has completely crashed. So we've lost over 82% of breeding curlew since, yeah, 87. So this project is all about trying to bring back the number of curlew that we have in our lands. A curlew is a wading bird. So they have these beautiful long legs and they're cryptic species, which means that they blend in really well with their habitat. And they have this really lovely haunting call, which just echoes through the uplands where they call home. So again, you think that the, that the call is haunting? Yeah, oh my God, when you come up here on a day, like on a, cause it's usually like really oppressive, right? Like it's not, like this is a good day. And then you just get this curlew coming down and it's hair raising and haunting, I mean, in quite a beautiful way. Right, so we have a new nest just behind us and they've just finished laying. So we're putting the nest protection fence around them. Curlew are very vulnerable at the nest stage. They do nest on the ground. So to combat this, we put a nest protection fence around them. This is a 25 meter by 25 meter electrified fence. And this just allows us to keep out anything that might cause harm to the nest. So foxes, stoats, badgers, and of course, livestock. It's really important when we're putting up the nest protection fences to know how old the eggs are. I use a really cool technique called candling and it's when I shine a really bright light through the, through the shell of the egg and I can see development of the chick inside. All right, so... <gasps> Absolutely beautiful. This is the air cell end up the top here and this is a real important thing to look at for development. So as the oxygen demand of the chick increases, the air cell will also increase. You can see the shadow of the chick just down in here. And that dark line you can see is the cam. So that's the membrane that actually brings the oxygen into the chick. You can see all the veins and the development up on the top. Oh, beautiful. Oh. Sorry, I'll stop making weird noises. Curlews are vulnerable not only from the time that they are nesting, but also all the way up to when they can finally fly, which is about 33 days. So we try and make sure that they have the best chance of fledging. That has to do with advice to farmers, habitat management and lethal predator control. We know the main reason of decline is due to the low number of chicks getting out to fledge. And we know that this is usually because of generalist predators like foxes and crows. We've changed the ecosystem around us so much. We have a lot more people and therefore a lot more rubbish. A lot of stock that are getting fed, stocking rates are higher. So these generalist predators are just 
having a buffet of our waste and so therefore they're increasing. The predator control that we do up here, it's not something that we want to do. We are losing so many other species, so it's a necessary evil. What we're trying to do is rebalance, give the curlews a fighting chance. Here in Northern Ireland, over 75% of our landscape is agricultural land. So working with farmers is really important for this landscape scale conservation that we've got going here. I work with almost 100 farmers. This partnership we have with them is something I've never seen before. It's absolutely phenomenal. They're really passionate about their land and the species that also call their land home. My name is Leslie Ballantyne. I farm here on the Antrim Plateau. I've been farming for the last 25 years. I know personally one of the things that I love is going out in March when uh, the first curlew appears and to hear that in the distance, I tell you, it, it, it just lets me know spring is at hand. It has been invaluable the help that Katie and her team have given and has enabled me to organise the, the farming of the land so that these birds can not only feel at home on the farm but that they are motivated to come back again year by year. The amount of effort that goes into this kind of work is incredible. But every day when I get up and I come up here and I get to see the curlews serenading us, we get to hear that sound, that beautiful sound up in these hills. Every day it makes it completely worth it.